actually in Munich. And while we're here, Trevor's probably going to find those stories on your computer. Uh, maybe not. I put a few obstacles in his path. Uh, we're going to look around Munich, James. While you do that, I'm going to look for Tiara. She said she had a suite at the Carnival Hotel. Sooner or later, you'll have to make your appearance, Tiara. My dear Baron, it was tacky of you to use those punks to try and steal the rubies from my niece. My dear Tiara, I would never cheat you. It is just business. I assume you have the relays? The relays are in a safe place. Uh, shall we celebrate with a luncheon at the festival, Baron? Well, well, the gang's all here. Maybe I'll just tag along. And now, the rubies, my dear Tiara. As I said, in a safe place. A toast to the new von Skern Air Force. With these relays, I'll be able to see the flight of F-15s that is leaving the airbase tomorrow. Hey. It is Bond! James Bond! Junior! I'll get him! Do something. It's only a matter of time before he chews his way in here. Let's see if IQ's tone generator can survive a drop. Ah, oh, that sound! I can't take it! I know IQ stole those stories. And I'm going to find them right here in the computer. Ugh. Ink! Wait till I get my hands on that boothroid. I was thinking about that article on configuration relays, and it gave me an idea. I've modified this CD to gather and amplify laser beams. After a certain frequency is hit, just play it, and it should reflect any laser beam back to its source. Let me show you a film clip of the world's hottest fighter. The F-15 has a two-to-one power-to-weight ratio, enabling it to accelerate to supersonic speeds going straight up. Now, that's real air superiority. Well, actually, we were hoping for a first-hand report on flying in an F-15. Well, I don't know. That would be pretty irregular. Oh, well, I guess we can arrange a flight for Reginald Farragut's daughter. There's a training flight over the Alps today. Might be a couple of navigator seats empty. Sound OK? Sounds perfect. into my web, said the Baron to the Flyboys. I believe we're about to be guests of Baron von Skaren. Uh oh scum agents! Duck down. They won't be looking for navigators. Baby, let's get out of here. Well, Scarron's made a fortress out of this old salt mine. We've got to find the laser controls. What's your hurry, Bond? Maybe the Baron will give you a personal tour. <laughs> At last, I have that meddlesome Bond in my grasp. Hold him tight, Baron. He is an elusive one. I'm frightened, James. What are we going to do? For the moment, do as Jaws says. Be ready. Save your breath, you two. Each one might be your last. I hope you're not on a salt-free diet. Bond has escaped! Get him! All your men are incompetent idiots! I will stop Bond myself! Yes, annoying, isn't it? Oh, get in, you klutz! We'll have to slide down. I... I don't think I can do it. 
Sure you can, Phoebe. Let's go. Whoa! doesn't know how to play this game. See? Just another amusement park ride. I am afraid you may not find this so amusing, Bond. On the contrary, Tiara, I'm having a ball. Why don't you? <laughs> You are both incompetent. You have young Bond and let them escape. Oh, you have an entire staff of incompetence, Baron. They all let Bond and the girl get away. Do you know how difficult it is to find good help? No matter. They are trapped here in the mine. We will find them in the morning. Do you think they're talking about us? Yeah, and I bet they're not saying anything nice. We've got to find a way out of here. Agreed. Think you can handle an F-15? I can fly anything. Good. Let's go find Ruby. Ruby? Oh, she got us into this mess. It wasn't her fault, Phoebe. Details, details. Oh, all right. These are sleeping quarters. Ruby must be here somewhere. Maybe we'll get lucky and find Von Scarin. James! Oh, don't worry. I won't give you away. That's a relief. Ruby, we're getting out of here, and I want to take you with us. Great, let's go. You know how to open the runway doors? I think so. Pick out a plane. When the doors open, we'll meet you on the runway. Be ready to fly. Right. Now I'm not sure which one. There are so many. First guess is best. What's going on? Try another. Never mind, we've got to run for it. No question which one to fly. Come on, hurry! Bon, I'll get you this time. <laughs> Just yet. The Baron will try to bring us down with that device again. How do we get away? We just let Von Scarin face the music. Get off me, you clumsy idiot! Uh, I can't help it if you were in the way. Oh, well done, my dear Baron. They have escaped! They won't get far. Your niece has chosen her fate. Let's see how the Baron likes IQ's reflector relay. Definitely gave Von Scarin something to reflect on. I don't know how to thank you. Oh, Mr. Milbanks, Phoebe got a great interview with Colonel Neal about recovery of the missing planes, and we got some great shots of Munich. Well, I think the next issue of the Warfield Gazette could include both the news and the travel angles. You know, that's a very good idea. 
Uh, Nesworthy, I don't think we'll have any problems filling up this issue. But, sir, my stories are still missing, and I know Bond and his friends are to blame. Golly, Trevor, is this the stuff you're looking for? I... I don't understand it. Nosworthy, if you can't even keep track of the stories, I don't see how you can expect to be editor. I think we should see what kind of editor you'll make, Phoebe. Oh, wow, sir. Maybe I'll use one of your stories, Trevor. Someday. And how was your trip to Germany, Bond? Quite nice on the whole, sir. The flight home was a bit bumpy, though. James Bond's having the weekend off, but he'll be back Monday morning here on Central at 11 o'clock. Do stay with us for win, lose or draw. That's next.